You call me a slut. You point your fingers at me and you call me harlot. Even my own people call me a shower. But you know what? You don't know my pain. Would you prefer that I walk the streets in rags begging you for money? Huh? Would you prefer that I break into your homes with a loaded gun? Or would you prefer that I slowly and painfully die of hunger? I know what you're thinking. Lazy girl, go get a job. Sell pure water if you must. But you know what? I have been there. I have done all that. I have a degree in pure water business. I have a BSc in Agege Bread Melodies. I have a PhD in house girl work. I even have masters in roadside cleaning. Where did all that get me? What do I have to show for all that labor? Nothing. If you ever see a young girl who is the eldest, who has four younger ones depending on her for daily bread, for school fees. How many people are you answer? Hmm? How your agigi bread business will move forward if ten don't fall before business open? Tell me. How? Have you ever seen a, a man crying buckets of water as he slowly loses his sight because he knows the day is coming when he would no longer find his way to work and nobody will be there to help him? If you ever see a woman carry a load so heavy that it takes two men to carry. But yeah, she carries it to the market on her head by herself. It's because she knows that a day is coming when her children's only hope will be their education. If you have ever seen a young girl molested, abused and used as sex toys by men, if you ever see a woman bend over backwards just to get through school, if you have ever seen a woman sleep around, go through tons of men just to get to the top, it's because she knows that the day is coming when she would fall and nobody, not even you, would be there to help her. When that weeping blind man is your father, and that heavy burdened woman is your mother, and that little girl is you. Then and only then if you call me a shower. So if you won't help me, if you cannot help me, don't hurt me with your words. Don't kill me with your hatefulness. Don't judge me with your eyes. Because me self, I get dream. I get hope. I know one day, one day, it go better. Believe it or not, my life sucks just beyond the telling of it. And I don't understand why me trying to kill myself makes you want to buy me new clothes or clean up my apartments. Buying new clothes doesn't fix clinical depression. You're sitting there telling me to tie a ribbon on a gunshot wound. I didn't say 
I didn't come in here and I say, fix me. I work. I work every goddamn day. I got myself to work when I would have rather drank bleach. I work, okay? I made friends. I supported them. I even I, I dated all the while living in a hellhole. I work. You don't know me. You don't know what my life is. And you can't blame me for wanting to feel desperate, wanting a way out. I'm not all the other people you've treated, okay? I'm a human being. Stop treating me like I'm an age group or something. Normally I'll just make another appointment, cancel it, ignore your calls. But I've confronted you. And you know what? That is huge for me. I've heard my grievances. You've refused to acknowledge me. And now I'm done. One of us is being unreasonable and for once it's not me. So, peace out.